they they, they suck, suck. To, to the low, low that okay there's a scale this is how much how much the sector factor is, is contributing then we will have, have the, the right, right policy direct, directed to the sector to the sector to sort of support for the sector sector and, and i also expected the 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 the, 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 the um, um as a statistician in government, as a statistician can talk about, about the, 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 um, um, the tourism satellite, satellite account. Mm-hmm. And that has, has been, been in the private pipeline for, for years. years. We, we go on it, on it. We, we come back, back no commit, commitment, and no, no interest. So, so it is, it, is, it, is, it is a challenge, challenge for every, every one of us. If if we can we can pay, pay attention to the territory, trust with me. Most most of our issues is on unemployment, revenue, all those those things. We need to sort out. to speak speak with you. You are a person on all of the the. Africa tourism, tourism research network in like Iman of him of him congratulations once once again we we'll be, we'll be looking looking forward to reading to reading about the the assessment assessment you made of the the tourism second sector report launched by by the Ghana Ghana tourism authority but but before we before we go uh, uh, that this is afternoon afternoon. afternoon some, some some civil society organizations are raising issues um, um, that, that there are not, not enough measures in just in place uh, uh, to, to fix us our failure to to tackle our tackle our debt credit crisis and the, and the fifth year we may, we may be headed back to back to I and I and if if we if we not not fix fix this this. Ben uh, Bwachi, uh, he is ex- executive director, director of the, the Africa, Africa Center for, Center for Energy, Energy Policy. He, he spoke, spoke to Bwachi, Bwa he is ex- executive director, director of the, the Africa, Africa Center for, Center for Energy, Energy Policy. He, he spoke, spoke to us, to us in, in the, U, the U.S. Uh, where, where the, the annual IMF, IMF World, World Bank, the annual I'm a, I'm a world world bank thanks please can you sign please sign this stress stress mm-hmm. what what is the line line me back me back say say in track track no way that way that we think in crisis this is but now you know the process that the big big process is a lot of work they work issues of sustainability and accountability in how the 
procure procure happen happens and what what they are actually they use for. And civil and civil society is civil society is pretty interested in in having having conversations. Uh, with, uh, with governments to, to be sure, sure that, that that when we borrow, bro, when we we generate revenue, generate revenue, those those revenue revenues are used used much much more effective, effectively uh, to charge the charge the sustainable part. So rather than I'm just talking talking about the about the debt and how and how of, you know the uh, debt debt can be can be restructured structured or forgiven. We have to, have to also look at the sustainability of our, of our economies, economies, right? Right? In, in, to, uh, uh, if if you don't know where, where it's not going to be another, another three, three years, years of coming back, back to the IMF, or another four years, years of coming to the, to the IMF, IMF. Mm-hmm. You saw all the panels on the I mean, I mean, Sri Lanka and, and Ghana. Ghana has gone to Germany 17, 19 times. Uh, uh, Zambia has, has done it 13 times. So, so some, some may be one, one even predict, predict that, that this is just uh, um, and another, uh, you, you know, short, short term measure. Uh, and then, and then we just back, back to the IMF. To the IMF. So, so how do we have addressed to those issues, issues to sustainably, sustainably? I look, I look at our, our governance, governance systems, and our institutions, and our political, political establishments to, to ensure that it will remain a count of the world. And, and measure, measure it. And how, how do they book, book your debt, debt? And how do they finance the development? In, in the Ghana situation, situation, have you been, have you been convinced about the never, the never again in, in terms terms of this the structures, structures, the structure structure of reforms to ensure ensure that we don't we don't get it here? I mean, we had we had the civil societies. Are there the interest groups that, that raise these red flags? But but it appears this government didn't didn't listen. So do, do you think think that going from forward, but the, the never again? Oh, 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 listen, listen. You, you still, still have some have some consent consent. No, so this, so this is how we how we frame it. Frame it. Then the never break again has has to be a be a conversation. Uh, uh, not not just from the political, political class, but but all of, all of us I guess, agree and agreeing that that we, we have have to do do things right, things right. Uh, so so that we can can be be sustainable. And the way we we manage manage our, our economies is you. Can, Ben, ben Wachi, uh, um, um, Executive, Executive Director, Director is at the is at the speaking to speaking to into Georgia, Georgia, Washington, Washington, Dean, DC. See that that's the that's the market, please, every please, everyone. Want thank, thanks for watching. And money, money is on our website, at my journalline.com for for this slide. Uh, business, business, yes. DDD, PP banks, banks have up have up to twenty twenty two twenty twenty five to buy to business store store. Minimum pay pay up, 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 up capital in the style industry cause huge loss in 2020 2023 more about, about, about that. My join I join online dot line dot com first first slide business business. My name is name is Dal Kwara Kwara. Thanks for thanks for watching watching. We'll, we'll be back back same time same time tomorrow tomorrow. Same time same time tomorrow tomorrow.
Joy, hey, Joy Business, business bye, bye. My, name, my name is Victor, is Victor, if you follow us, bye, bye. Welcome, welcome to Bubunene Afri Africa. I, I'm an uh, uh, international strategy that I by myself, sir. And, and I started start with Bubunene Africa, Africa almost four years, four years ago. ago. And, and we are, we are yeah. into, into the product, production of, you know, value you added that natural focus is mathematic product products. We, we realize that our top, top sellers were, were the body, body lotion, the body, body butter, and the black, the black sub, sub gel. No, no. So we decided to, we to focus, focus on that. On that. And and really really improve it, and and with the time people who started started um, um, asking for for hair hair care product products, so we we just launched our our shampoo and conditioner. So for currently we we have we have about eight about eight seats. We want to want to start selling international internationally. We would like to be able, to be able to, as to establish um, an oil and oil purposes facility because there's a huge demand for for our, our local local oils oils like like the mini and the and the bar bar bar. But we needed much machine in which we to be able to be able to do that. that. Why I stay stay on the on the drive the drive business platform on on TV TV radio. All online and on the ground, ground. But the joy of business, business fan, fan. How how it by joy, joy business, best, best, and so and so protected by by bank, bank. But the pan up, pan up, can can bank and an empty end, end. What what are we doing to into the day? Hey. On the executive lounge. Some top on top executive from from Volkswagen Volkswagen Ghana will we'll bring us up to speed to speed on the idea of our questions and the and the automobile in the industry. The the automotive chief coming coming to to uh, 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 as as well. We we know that the cost of it is also also a part part of the policy. Component component manufacturing and is also also coming coming on, t- on top of the, of that and and with, with that com- component of the manufacturing we, we really going, going to be double double up uh, 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 um, also also problem uh, uh, um, uh, 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 number business in the, in the country our country our world vision is 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 folks folks are going to be good efficient and that put it like that is that in the long long term is really really that we've got we've got so supply supply um out of out of west western and africa can have up to to all of africa of africa that's it's big gun gun now we've we've got kenya it's currently or east or east africa africa I have up to, to all of Africa that, that of course should be a company by a, hopefully a, a, a logistic, logistics uh, which en- enables really free free movement and goods within uh, within uh, within Africa. The executive lounge shows every every Thursday day at five at five thirty p.m. and ten p.m. Saturday days is at 12 at 12 noon of noon and Sunday days is at 5 5 p.m.
best story of, of the unique, unique play, plays that, that gives them the Social, social media. 
Live live stream stream engage engage with your guys us on Twitter Twitter that that the have the hashtag state of state of play state of play play see simply be politically political in incorrect. Tell you you about, about the, the Joe News News in Impact Makers Makers Awards Awards and why you, you should you be excited about it because because you, you see they they are people who who de dedicated themselves to a to a cause they care deep, deeply about deeply about these are some everyday people people. Google, Google, they, they extra, extra mile, mile to make their, their community better. better. I'm talking about, about the people who make making ring real, real little impact on, on humanity. The, the Japan you use in impact of the world it is about, it is about the, these individuals. Many of you have, have nominate, nominated nominated to that person then you feel feel truly deserves to be to be celebrated as a just a job on you when you use in part maker. Our panel panel of judges is received receiving the entry trees. In in May. And of of these are these are amazing and I'll and I'll stand standing to people people. What we be selected at an event that would, would celebrate the yeah, yeah, remarkable double dedication and, and service to, to humanity. humanity. This is, is a, a joy news is the impact that makes or makes awards where, where we celebrate all ordinary, ordinary people who are making, making extraordinary impact. Join, join, join on news and the and the multimedia media group, group to recognize, honor, and and support support dedicated to people and yet inspiring inspiring work work. Join on news in in maybe get a war war. It's time to celebrate with great greatness. Delivering deliver the March and, and stated 2023 20, 20, 20, 20 by budget. Fine, fine announcements, Mr. Ken and Operator said that Ghana is at a high rate of risk of debt, of debt distress. And debt, le and debt levels such as unsustainable. In simple terms, Ghana is, Ghana is finding it diff difficult court. To carry a, a debt debt burden in what five five hundred and seventy five point six billion in Ghana and cities as of as of November two twenty two twenty twenty two and may not not be able be able to set to service it its loans as as planned and hello my my name is Isaac Isaac Kofi Kofi JJ and we welcome welcome to talking number numbers.
Okay, okay, for we are in the 2020 budget. Hinted, hinted. Ghana is planning to carry out a debt appropriation exercise. Default was eminent. This was supposed to create create enough fiscal space space for a for a three billion IMF extend, extended credit credit for a security program program for the British British institution mission. On on fourth fourth December December twenty twenty two, the government fulfilled its sovereign com, component component of the the bag again again. It's finally and only announced a debt operation exercise I called domestic debt exchange, popularly popularly known as known as DDEPP, which has outlined the nature feature of debt restructuring or domestic credit debts. Finance, finance minister Ken kind kind of, kind of Rata, Rata revealed, revealed that the program is, is in, to invite holders of domestic domestic debt, debt to to go loan, loan tree, tree lady, in, in an exchange approaching approximately one hundred and thirty seven seven billion of, of the domestic domestic no notes and bonds of the of the republic public in, including S less la that they are touching bonds and, and then, then government of Ghana bonds for a, for a pack, package of new, new bond bonds. Now, now for foreign, foreign investors were the, the next group to take a hit. hit. Now, for 15 day, days after, after a domestic default, government and announced its, in, its intention to, to suspend spend payment payment. On, on euro euro bonds and set up other commercial loans this this year. Yeah. And the key the key question thing is, can can Ghana survive survive with, without a, a successful successful debt debt appropriation exercise size of risk risk structuring? Now now let's just look, look at what the, what the numbers say. say. Now, six, now, sixty-five years after, after Ghana's, Ghana's independence, Ghana's total ex- expenditure, expenditure, including pin clearance of our arrears, we did in a specific fiscal year, fiscal year has been projected to reach more than two hundred to reach more than two hundred and five point four billion five point four billion Ghana cities, Ghana cities. By the end of this year, by the end of this year, with with two line items, just two line items, just two line two line items, accounting for items, accounting for more than more than forty seven percent, forty seven percent of the of the estimated amount. Now interest estimated amount. Now interest payment payment on lo- on loans will be will be the most the most expensive line line item item this year. With, with a project project value of, of 52.6 billion Ghana Ghana CDs, followed followed by a comp- by a compensation for from, from employees, include including wages and sal- salaries of of workers workers, amount amounting to, to some some 44.999 billion Ghanaian Ghana CDs. Interest, uh, interest payment, payment on loans for, for this year, year is, is 46.88% of, of tax, tax reps revenue. 36.55% of percent of percent of projected revenue. And, and 31.3 billion Ghana cities revenue. 36.55% of percent of projected revenue. And and thirty thirty one one point and three B billion Ghana cities these will be will be spent on domestic interest interest payment and and the other twenty other two pump interest interest payment and and the other twenty other two pump interest interest payment and and the other twenty other two pump payment combined combined. 
Now, every one point three billion billion Ghana cedis will be spent on the domestic interest payment, and the other twenty one point and the other twenty one point three billion on on external now payment. Now, com combine project projected interest payment on loans on loans, which is about about five point point two billion dollars less. It's, it's almost to twice that is the three three billion dollars package from from the IMF. We steadily, you know, that you know that things in prison to one debt and debt reports reports released these by the fine by the finance and ministry. And total and total ex extended now now debt service debt service and even including principal pay for payment payment interest fee payment and, and charges charges between in 2018 and, and 2022 amounted to 39.5522 billion dollars. Now ex external now debt service services in, in, in the, the period and the review you, you cost the state state on on average two two point four point four billion dollars every year here. I got gonna suspend about about one one point point seven one one billion billion dollars every year year on principles of October payment payment. While house in interest payment and and charges is looks looks our way way about one about one point one point one six six billion every every year. Yeah. Now before we get any any debt restructuring restructuring of no cancellation in government of government of Ghana is is expected to pay to pay standing standing euro bond bond loans loans worth at least worth at least seven point eight point eight five five billion billion. Daughters in the next ten the next ten years. Nine of nine of the outstanding Europe standing euro bonds on maturing in the next in the next ten ten years yes, could cost us government at least at least seven point eight eight five billion dollars yes, with about with about three point seven seven billion billion which is which is four forty one one point three three per percent and of the total, the total amount amount expected expected to be seven in the next the next five five years. Yes. So with all, all these these loans of obligation, the three three billion bailout packed package from the the IMF could just just be a drop drop in the in the ocean. Chin. Not not in enough to to even even cover loan service in this in this year here. The, the conclusion, conclusion is very, very simple. Simple. Government needs its fiscal space to be built, and and it, it will be, it will be difficult, difficult. But this this year, if it, it, it does not not take steps take step to to make sure it the debt level levels is sustainable, in, in it requires to to return then the economy to a, to a positive, positive trajectory. trajectory tree. And then the death op operation action exercise looks inevitable. DC and the and the MPPP elect the flag flag bearers and and parliamentary entry candidate candidates for the, the crucial show 2020 2024 general elections your your election election headquarters is is ro is rolling up its up its sleeves to bring you bring you the most the most comprehensive kind of coverage.
we go go be your eyes and ears on on the ground on bringing you bring you the break break kicking news i'm no no here for few for future i'm here for here for now now the end the end the people who do do time time 10 10 what what we did in the dating 2020 from from Region, region, and across, and across, and the land and the rest of, of the, the country to the Delhi delegates decide. On on Joe, 99.7 FM. Joe, Joe, new news, news. My joy, my joy, online, online, and dot com. And and across, across all us, all us, which you should be able to catch for from your election head, head, one, two, three, go on. Make, make such a thing, thing. Hi, hi there. My name is Evan. My name is Evan. I was meant to say. I would like, like to tell you, tell you about the, about the joy news news in Pampat Mikmikers Awards. And why, and why ain't you, you shouldn't be, be excited about, about it. They are people who, who dedicate themselves to, to a, a cause. They care deeply, deeply about how. These are everyday, everyday people. people the ex- extra mile, mile oh, they make their, their communities best best I'm talking talking about uh, the people the people make, making real real impact on, on humanity the board news news impact of the war it is about about these individuals many many you have have nominated nominated that to, that first person and you feel you truly de- deserves to be to be celebra- celebrated celebrated to join you use impact impact make maker our panel of panel of judges is if you see seeing thing the entries in in may 10 of no these are amazing amazing and i also stand standing people people we select elected at, at an event, event that, that would celebrate your remarkable dedication and, and, and service to, to humanity. This is a joy. Welcome to the marketplace. Coming up, Finance Minister Ken Ofoyata announces that Ghana is set to secure finance and assurance from Paris Club, a move expected to fast track approval of the country's IMF program. In regards to our conversations with standard creditors, um, our discussions um, with the fund and our development partners have been marked by a clear understanding of the need to restore macroeconomic and financial stability to Ghana and to promote our economic recovery as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, World Bank commits $250 million as seed capital for Ghana Stability Fund to support banks significantly impacted by a domestic debt exchange program. The World Bank has committed um, $250 million to the Ghana Financial Stability Fund and we do continue to encourage um, other multilateral development banks and bilateral partners to assist the government of Ghana to secure the stability of our financial sector. There will be more from Washington, D.C. Also this afternoon, interest rates shoot up marginally again for third week of running as government records 7.5% oversubscription of treasury bills to the tune of 1.79 billion CDs. 
My name is Daryl Kwao. Thanks for joining us. Details coming up. First up, uh, this afternoon, Finance Minister Ken Ofeate has announced that Ghana is set to secure finance and assurance from the Paris Club of Creditors in the coming weeks. The move is expected to help fast-track approval of Ghana's program request from the International Monetary Fund. Mr. Ofeate has been speaking at a news conference to wrap up Ghana's engagement at the just-ended annual IMF World Bank Spring Meetings in Washington, D.C. Um, with regards to our conversations with standard creditors, um, our discussions um, with the fund and our development partners have been marked by a clear understanding of the need to restore macroeconomic and financial stability to Ghana and to promote our economic recovery as quickly as possible. Uh, we have highlighted uh, the importance of uh, revenue mobilization, expenditure control and implementation of decisive reforms to kickstart uh, our growth. Encouragingly, there is broad alignment with the international community that our policy orientation is not only proactive but also well anchored. And we are convinced that they should um, support um, our overall ambitions in this regard. We are advancing our discussions with our international bondholders and other external commercial creditors. Earlier today, as you know, uh, we hosted a successful webcast informing our commercial creditors of our economic and financial situation while also highlighting the broad contours of Ghana's debt restructuring strategy. Meanwhile, the finance minister has insisted that government is not embarking on any new domestic debt action program targeted at pension funds. You look at it in line with the 22nd December um, memorandum of understanding that we had, uh, that we signed with organized labor associations, uh, governments, pension funds, and uh, were exempted, as you know. Um, and that has not changed. Uh, it's therefore really not correct to say that we are planning um, a second round of domestic debt exchange program um, with pension funds. Um, what we are doing um, is working uh, with them on how they can further help government um, um, to reduce um, the debt service and, and ensure that um, we maintain um, sort of the uh, debt um, sustainability, which was in the uh, in the MOU agreement, um, and so those discussions um, are continuing. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Excuse me. So we can state emphatically there isn't going to be any sort of domestic debt restructuring for a second phase, so that we can debunk the report that we are seeing in Accra. Um, yeah, in, in terms of the DEP, that's correct. You know that we still have um, cocoa bills um, to work with, and the uh, and the domestic um, dollar bonds um, that we are still working on, but I really. Um, debunk in a sense that there's a second round of um, domestic debt exchange program. Good. The finance minister addressing the press um, at Washington, D.C. in the U.S. Now, Ghana is likely to get an executive board approval for a program from the International Monetary Fund next month. That's a session by Fifth Solutions. According to the market information and research firm, once an official creditor committee is formed, hopefully by the end of this month, the fund will approve a program for the country. The finance minister, Ken Ophira has already hinted that Ghana will get a program from the fund in May. Now, speaking at his latest Southern Africa macroeconomic update, senior country risk analyst Mike Kuniga said the program will boost investor sentiments to revive growth. In order to get IMF executive board approval, uh, Ghana needs to obtain uh, what the IMF calls necessary financing uh, assurances from its international creditors, uh, which ultimately means that an official creditor committee needs to be set up uh, in order to restructure uh, Ghana's external debt. Uh, 
Um, Paris Club members have said that they are ready to form such a committee, uh, but there has been very limited info on Ghana's largest creditor, which is China. Um, our current forecasts are predicated on the assumption that an official creditor committee uh, will be formed in the second quarter of 2023, so that's within the next couple of weeks or so, uh, which will then unlock critical IMF uh, assistance. Once this happens, um, we expect investor sentiment towards Canadian assets to improve, which will see the exchange rate strengthen somewhat, which in turn will allow inflation to come down more substantially. Partner Deloitte Ghana Yaolati joins us on Zoom uh, with some analysis to uh, the developing story from Washington, D.C. Good afternoon to you. So the finance minister, Kenneth Verrett, announcing that Ghana is set to secure finance and assurance from the Paris Club of Creditors in the coming weeks. That essentially seals an IMF executive board approval, does it? Yeah, so I think thank you very much and good afternoon to you and your viewers for that listeners. Um, so, this is good news, and it's good for the market, uh, particularly uh, given the uncertainty that arose as a result of our inability to uh, meet uh, the March ending deadline, which was previously communicated by government. And when we missed the March deadline, uh, some uncertainties were created in the market, and um, the analysts in the market started uh, expressing worry and concern that we could not meet the March deadline. So this is good news, and I think it's good for the Ghanaian market, and it's good for the Ghanaian economy as well. Well, so uh, financing assurance from the Paris Club, uh, I guess, will certainly come with some responsibilities on us. What would that be? Yeah, so I think, um, like most of the creditors have expressed, uh, their key concern is for us to uh, secure debt sustainability or risk debt sustainability. And so what they will be very much interested in agreeing on terms with us is uh, terms that will ensure that we reach some level of debt sustainability. Because it is not only in the interest of Ghana to reach debt sustainability, but it's also in the interest of external creditors, particularly our commercial lenders, that Ghana reaches debt sustainability. Uh, if you look at our debt profile, it consists of our euro bonds, other commercial creditors, bilateral creditors. And among the bilateral creditors, our single most important and largest bilateral creditor is China. And China has shifted positions recently. And so China doesn't adopt or has not adopted some transient positions as people have communicated or people have made or the impression has been created in the past. China has been quite somewhat flexible. And so we expect other external creditors, particularly the commercial creditors, to also be very flexible in terms of what conditions they impose on the country and then what terms you reach. So that at the end of the day, Ghana has the necessary fiscal space to grow the economy, create employment, be able to create, uh, generate a lot more tax revenue or revenue for government in order to service the debt. I think that's the most important. We should not be interested in uh, getting this debt to pay and then Ghana not be able to generate enough revenue or enough cash flow to pay or service the debt. All right, and there is optimism that we would secure a program next month. Uh, don't know if you are of the same view, and I, I, I'd like to know your thoughts on that. And we are also working towards a three-year extended credit facility. The last time I checked, any chances that would change? Yes, yeah, so I think that is a very good thing. And for me, uh, the indications are clear from the communication and message that we are getting from governments and other sources. Our single most important hurdle to cross is our external debt or external creditors. And so if you are able to return to the external creditors, then we are almost close to signing a program, which in my view should be cleaner than what we experienced in the domestic fund. Because the domestic fund had a lot of stakeholders who needed to be engaged and not very useful, uh, the debt restructuring that we are currently put or impose on them. But the external creditors are very much aware of uh, some of these uh, debt restructuring programs. They've seen in other countries, we've seen Zambia and others go through it. And so our external creditors are a lot more organized and are prepared for debt restructuring. So we don't expect that to be a long drawn a prolonged engagement. We expect that to be quickly concluded, hopefully before the end of the month. By which time, we're also prepared to sign on to the program. All right. Uh, 
uh, so assuming we, we seal a deal in May, uh, what should we brace ourselves for? We hear a lot about austerity. I mean, what would the coming days look like for us? And so I think the good thing is uh, we've got uh, hints of that in the 2023 budget statement. And it's clear that an IMF program comes with the imposition of taxes, either new taxes or revision or amendment of the existing tax laws. So that we saw these three revenue bills that were passed are all in line with securing an IMF program and also supporting an IMF program. What we expect to happen subsequent to that is either free on employment or free on government programs, which at the moment we are not too clear which of these programs or which of these employment uh, or sectors will be affected by that. But at the end of it all, um, programs such as the IMF program that we are signing requires that we generate enough revenue so that our revenue base will be wider and we'll be able to achieve our best sustainability. But we expect a lot more to happen when the terms are announced after the program has been reached. All right. We are looking forward to the terms being announced. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Yaolati, good to speak with you, his partner at Deloitte Ghana. Well, so back to Washington, D.C., the World Bank has agreed to commit $250 million to support the Ghana Stability Fund this is part of the donor funding that is expected to support the establishment of the $1.5 billion fund. Now, Finance Minister Ken Fuerta announced this in Washington, D.C., and he's been given more details. Take a listen. Surely, uh, the meetings have afforded us the opportunity to discuss uh, the importance of maintaining Ghana's financial stability in the wake of the domestic debt exchange program. The World Bank has committed um, $250 million to the Ghana Financial Stability Fund, and we do continue to encourage um, other multilateral development funds and bilateral partners to assist the government of Ghana to secure the stability of our financial sector. Our delegation also participated uh, in a roundtable um, with the U.S. Business Council for International Understanding um, to discuss Ghana's economic recovery and the private sector's critical role in supporting job creation and investments. As you know, um, the fund programs, a lot of consolidation and austerity, and we are very committed to um, a growth agenda which will require uh, private sector engagement. So we met uh, with representatives from Boeing, Citibank, Google, um, HP, Cosmos, Newmont, um, quite a number of others, Bayer, Novartis, um, John Deere, um, and even a company um, that works um, on shea butter, uh, which was really good. We also had Flutterway and, uh, and Shell, um, and many other companies with interest in doing business in Ghana. Um, that was a very spirited engagement, uh, and you can see the excitement um, of them looking um, to come to the country um, or even uh, increase the investments um, in the country. All right, uh, the finance minister there uh, from Washington, D.C. Let's turn to the money market. Interest rates shot up marginally again for the third week running as government recorded 7.5% oversubscription of treasury bills to the tune of 1.79 billion cities. That's according to uh, the latest auction. Patrick Edema-Gama has been monitoring. It's Ram season, which means it's time to serve with Ram 1500, Ram 3500, and Ram TRX. Hurry in now for great deals on the trucks that are built to serve. Right now during Ram season, get 10% below MSRP on the purchase of a 2023 Ram 1500 Laramie. Not compatible with lease offers or with any other consumer incentive offers. Contact dealer for details. Take retail delivery by 531-23. He's head of trading at Republic Securities. He's on Zoom with me. So give us a rundown, Patrick, from last Friday. So what we... With any other consumer incentive offers. Contact dealer for details. Take retail delivery by 531-23. He's head of trading at Republic Securities. He's on Zoom with me. So give us a rundown, Patrick, from last Friday. So what we've seen that the target for last week 
was uh, one point seven by the government was able to point seven by the government was able to cross that particular target. We saw the ninety one day clearing at nineteen point seven four percent, recording a jump by five point one basis point. We saw the ninety one day treasury bill closing at twenty two point four seven, recording a twenty two point four basis point jump. However, we saw to twenty six point nine and decrease by the this is the four day bill, the decrease by five point six five percent. Actually happened last week. We are able to see that uh, if you look at the bid range, you will see that the government maintained the same bid which we saw the last time. So investors made the highest for ninety one day at twenty percent interest rate, and that is a good sign of what uh, we are going through now. Yeah, so interest rates rising marginally for the third week. Uh, what are you reading into that and the likely impact on the markets going forward? Okay, so yes, um, the uncertainty we are seeing uh, in the economy is actually should be telling the interest rate where the interest appetites are rising, it's ready to keep rising, and they will continue to be more until we see some stability in the economy. You know, at that Uh, Patrick, we are losing your audio. I, I don't know what the problem is. Uh, we are barely able to hear you. So we are going to try once again. You are making a point. Hello, please can you hear me now? Yes, it's better. Great. So I was saying that um, other economic indicators are actually showing that uh, interest rates should be rising. So investors are actually following this trend and also placing their bids accordingly. Right, and on the capital market, the government stock exchange is expected to perform positively this week, uh, led by Benso Oil Palm Plantation. And, well, uh, tell us what you are reading from where you are. Well, as um, we can already see, Benso Oil Palm has reached another all time high, jumping uh, by 1.28 to reach 14.11 already for today. Uh, we can see that the bids for Benso Oil Palm is rising and keeps rising against the supply on the market. MTN is also mounting in bids against the limited supply. Although last week we saw a dip in MTN by 4.76%, we expect this week to also uh, see some uh, interest in total where investors will keep uh, showing interest and then uh, we we'll see how that reflects in price. All right. Uh, Patrick Agama, Head of Trading Republic Securities, appreciate your time with us uh, this afternoon. We are taking you all the way to South Africa. Chairman of the Markdown Group of Companies, Dr. Daniel Macaulay, is urging Ghanaian businesses to take advantage of the African continental free trade area in order to expand the operations. The Markdown Group was the first African business to secure a partnership with the uh, continental free trade area, which will allow the private firm shipping line the opportunity to load and transport goods across after member countries. Now, speaking exclusively to join you, says Blesa Suga at the African Continental Free Trade Area Business Forum in South Africa. Dr. Macaulay underscored the tremendous opportunities the trade agreement presents to the private sector. This far into rush hour traffic, most people would have rage accelerated at least once. But not you, Lacey, no hard accelerations ever, Johnson. Because you are a safe driver. And like most drivers who sign up for Snapshot from Progressive, which customizes your rate for how and how much you drive, you could earn a discount for your good driving. So if your hula dancing dashboard doll thinks you're going to hard accelerate because you're running late, then your hula dancing dashboard doll doesn't know. Lacey, no hard accelerations ever, Johnson. Sign up for Snapshot today. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Snapshot not available in all states or from all agents. The continental free trade is going on, but a lot of people really don't understand what is going on. Uh, as a businessman, I really want to take a full share of what is going on. That is why I'm here. For you as a businessman, how are you positioning, for instance, some of your investments and uh, your businesses that cut across the continent to ensure that we take advantage or you take advantage of the opportunities that the continental free trade area will present? Okay, if you remember, I, um, I signed a MONEMOU as the first 
African to actually sign an MOU with the Continental <coughs> Free Trade Secretariat. Wow, you, you, your company was the first? Was the first to wow. sign the MOU uh, with them and also to um, help with the guided trade. I gave them, I approached them. Right now we have procured two cargo planes and also um, a vessel to support the movement. And uh, if you ask me, this is a fantastic uh, movement. And looking at what is going on in the uh, 